Hey, Sun here. I'm a privacy and security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. In today's episode, I wanna show you how to sync your contacts and calendars between your Mac and your iPhone without relying on the cloud. Now, you may be asking, Sun, why would I even care? Well, if you care about privacy, you should know that CalDAV and CardDAV, the two protocols that Apple uses with iCloud and all other vendors use, uh, does not support end-to-end -end encryption. So if we have a look here at the iCloud security overview, we can see down there in data types and encryption that calendars and contacts are not end-to-end -end encrypted. What that means is when you use iCloud to sync your contacts and calendars, all of this very sensitive data is on Apple servers and Apple holds the encryption keys at rest, meaning they can access this information. And I really don't see why in the context of a personal calendars, uh, personal calendar and contacts, you would even want to consider this. I, there's really no value add in my opinion. So thankfully there is an alternative and it's pretty old school. So here I have my iPhone and it is plugged in using the lightning cable that came with the phone. Uh, then if we click here on my phone, uh, the first thing that one wants to do is to click automatically sync when this iPhone is connected. Now the next thing, and it's quite funny how hidden this is, if you click here on the arrows and you go into info, you can then enable sync contacts onto John's iPhone or whatever yours is called. Same for calendars. And if you're doing this for the first time and the computer or Mac is considered the master, meaning you have all of your calendar stuff there and all of your contact stuff, you can also click those two boxes for the first sync and that will override what's on the iPhone. And now the really cool thing is once you do this, all you have to do is plug in your iPhone. Actually, it has to be on lock, I believe. Uh, probably doesn't even have to be unlocked. So you just plug it in and voila, we'll see. There you go. Now it just initiated a synchronization. We know also because we have this little sign right here. Uh, so the phone is then syncing. Now there are a few caveats. Uh, the sync only happens when you plug it in. Uh, so every time you know changes have occurred on either device, you have to remember to plug it in, but that's just how I charge my phone. So it's kind of, yeah, it feels natural to me. Um, yeah, the other thing that you may want to know is that that does not work for reminders. Uh, it only works for the calendar and contacts. Not sure why Apple uh, did not include reminder sync, which is quite sad. Uh, but I'm super blessed that this actually exists. I started using Proton uh, to you know, essentially do email. I think Proton Mail is quite uh, well engineered, at least on iOS with Conversation View. Uh, but the calendar does not exist, or the calendar app does not exist on iOS. Uh, and the contacts, full name and email, uh, are not end-to-end -end encrypted by Proton. So I was really, really desperately looking for an alternative that did not involve running my own server or something. Uh, and yeah, going old school totally works. So I hope that was insightful. If you like this content, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.